Hello, and welcome back to Dead October. And today, I'm going to share with you my super amazing, spectacular YouTuber farming spot. And this place is basically what gets me set up for the rest of the season. Do me a favor and hit the like button. We are lacking in the likes department. I know I keep saying that, but I'm going to say it again until everybody keeps hitting the like button. Now, I have been... That is the wrong button. I have been... Yeah, groovy. I have been farming for quite a while now. And so far, I've amassed this. And no, that is not it, because I have already opened about 200 of each of those. What you can expect from this farm is tons of smoke bombs, tons of mollies. I know, right now you're already like, smoke bombs? Who gives a flying about smoke bombs? Well, Sir Bobberino, when you deconstruct them, you get mixed explosives. You also are getting sulfur and a ton of copper, which who cares about that? But you're also getting a ton of grenades, granadas. You're also getting improved mixed explosives and mollies, which I just use the mollies because they don't actually give you anything good in return. But as you can see, that's 48 free mixed explosive powder there, sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir, whatever you go by in this game. Anyways, along with that, you are also amassing. Now, you actually, you can get vortex grenades as well. It's not, I know, shut up, just get on with it. It's not a lot, but you do get some, but those give you free stardust. So you're also getting stardust source from here if you deconstruct those as well and steal. Now, restively, restively, is that a word? There's tons of wheat, bellflower, corn, everything in this area as well to farm as you're going around an insane amount of gunpowder this is where i farm all my gunpowder and i end up having like a thousand plus to start the next the next area maybe even more it's also my cortex farm ridiculous amounts of cortexes to turn into level twos and then level twos into level threes you're also going to get a bunch of a stardust source not a ton but some along with what you deconstruct. Again, you're going to get all these cards. That's the reason why I'm making this video and sharing it, because A, I'm pretty much done with this area, and, you know, whatever. I'll ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. You also will get a ton of weapon mods parts from, from dispatching the elites that are there. There are three elites, two Rosetta mechanics, and then uh, one of the bruisers. Now, this is an endless loop, basically, of what you're going to be doing. Now, these are all the resources. This is the everything that you're going to get. Let's go ahead and... Oh, and also, I started at a level 34 today, and I am level 38. So, you're also going to grab a ton of levels doing this as well. Now, let's go ahead and open more of these, because, yay, hopefully I can be done with this. Claim. And now I'm done with that. If anybody needs any cards, come find me. Oh my god, it is raining. It has never rained. I have never seen it rain. You know, I don't even have rain catches up because of that. I, whatever. I know you don't care. Now, as we make our way uh, to the farm, you can see tons and tons of resources, honeysuckle, corn, bushes, wheat, everything, you name it, is over here. Now, where exactly we are on the map is we are at Winding Ridge Farmlands, just to the south of East Blackville Junction, just to the east of Greywater Camp, just to the west of Arichi Securement, just to the north of... I'm just kidding, it's right here. Pretty easy to find. Right there. There. You see it? You see it? You see it? There. Hopefully I left that on there long enough. Pause. But like I said, there is tons of resources here. The number one thing you want to do... Are you going to come and ruin my video, whoever you are? Is you want to use an axe or a melee weapon, the best one you have. Tons of resources. You're going to start right here. And you're going to go at it. Or, I think my axe is dull. Now, when it comes to those guys, the Rosetta mechanics, you don't want to be friends with him. He wants to be friends with you, but just say no. No means no. So you want to want to use your dogs, anything you have to throw at them. I'm pretty high level and have a decent build together, kind of ish going, so it's all right for me. Decent for me to take them out. But you can still even see I still have an issue with them. If you're level under leveled in the slightest, you will be there for 452 years trying to dispatch him. So if you have dogs, anything else that's going to give you the advantage over him, use it. Other than that, melee, 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 melee. Also, 
gear crate. Wonderful. And then carrying on. Now, this next building, as well, as our second Rosetta. Now, don't do that. Uh, second, I was aiming, trying to. Our second Rosetta mechanic in there. Try not to aggro that front guy. Kind of sneak around. And you want to take out the guys in the back first. Otherwise, they will come up and, you know. Well, they're going to do things to you that you don't really appreciate. Sorry, it's really hard for me to talk and game at the same time sometimes. It's like trying to wipe your ass and pat your head at the same No, that is definitely not how that saying goes. Oh, did you see that? I love the axe. It's so much fun. There was some YouTuber. Somebody was saying that they didn't think that the melee weapons had enough oomph behind them. I mean, like, how can you? How could you even say that? It's fantastic. Look at all these loot. Tons of loot here now. I did my video... Well, I recorded a bunch of it, and now I'm coming back and reloading, so everything's re back here. You know, English words stuff. I was piecing my video together, and then I came back to re-record this part because I didn't like my run. Oh, okay. Now we have dogs. That's fun. It makes for better content, I suppose. No, we're not skinning them. Uh. Again, mechanics are annoying. Very, very annoying. You can see even this dude seems like he has more health than the other one did. There we go. Get back in your bag, doggy. I prefer to do the killing, thank you. Where did... Did he run outside, or...? Yeah. Where'd you go? Come here, sir. Were you scared? Fun. I love it. All right, there we go. More crates. I don't know what else. I'm getting mostly gunpowder, I think. I probably need to drink and eat, too. That's why my dude is so slow. I probably shouldn't be looting this and whatever. It's good for the video, because then you guys will know where everything is. Even though you probably like I already know where everything is, dude. Shut up. Oh, a paper doll. That is exactly what I wanted. Because I don't have enough of those, you know. Do we need more of those? No, we definitely don't need more of those. I mean, maybe we do. I guess if you're into that kind of thing. And there's this guy in here. It's my favorite. I love that. All right, then we have the third and final boss over here. Elite boss, which is the bruiser. He's dealt with. So, and as you can see, we are mostly using our melee because that is how we're going to avoid wasting ammo, gunpowder, and everything else. Come here, sir. You're going to yell at them about gawking and telling them to get in there, and you're not actually going to come in here. Where's this other guy shooting from? Love it. Love it. So, more crates. Why are everybody's going to... You all are making me look stupid. Give me what I require. Loot crate, loot crate. Are you? You are up there. You are up here, in here. There we go. Oh, and now I'm hungry, because of course, why, why wouldn't we be hungry? Hard mode, gotta love it. Don't forget your bell powder. Bell powder? I got gunpowder and read it as bell powder. Like I said, talking and gaming. Not a strong suit of mine. Come here, sir. Am 
And there should be one more dude. It should be the last dude. And there we go. And then we eat. Do I have anything I'd eat? We're gonna eat some cornbread. <laughs> Delicious. And that's pretty much it. So now I did waste a bunch of time, obviously, getting crates and other stuff. But they should be spawning back in right this very second, or they are already there. I think the spawn timer on these outside in the outside world, other than strongholds, which even though inside a stronghold is technically at the outside world, I think are faster. Yeah, see, these dudes are already back here. Are they up here again? See, and they're already back. So that's pretty much the run. Super easy, super simple. Lots of loot, lots of resources, lots of everything. So go ahead and get yourself over here and destroy this before everybody else does. And you will be happy you did. You'll have a tons of resources, tons of loot. And hey, you might even see me over here doing this. And uh, all I have to say is, is, you know, get off my lawn. Like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you all soon. Yeah, yeah. Stupid mechanics. So annoying. Why are you still watching this? Go away.